Hey guys, what's up? NHL Hockey 50 here. Today I'm going to be showing you a pretty cool Minecraft mushroom farm that works as of Minecraft version 1.3 and it's the most efficient farm uh, I've seen so far. And it looks kind of like this. So mushrooms grow in these rows of micelle blocks and uh, get broken by the water at the top here. And the water goes in a path kind of like this. And the mushrooms are pushed to the side and brought to a collecting area. They fall in this path. Okay, I'll give you guys a look from the bottom, the ground level. I'm going to show you guys how it works. As you can see, there's uh, alternating patterns of signs, and this is going to get really important. So, the water falls from that uh, main water area, and the mushrooms get pushed down. As you can see, some mushrooms did fall. Okay, so there's that zigzag pattern of water because of the sign placement. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys uh, how it works. We're going to start off by building the base. We'll put down two blocks side by side and then leave a three block gap and then another two blocks. So I'm going to be using dirt and glass mainly for this version. So I'm going to put down two uh, glass blocks over here and then diagonal to this, I'm going to put one block. Okay, now we're going to go to the back side. Uh, we're going to place blocks in a U shape, just like this, on both sides. And then lastly, we're just going to close off this back area. Uh, in each of these parts, we're going to put a uh, water source. And this is going to push the mushrooms from the back side to the collecting area. I'll give you guys a bird's eye view of how it's supposed to look. And you want your base to look something like this. Alright, so now we're going to be building our first layer where the mushrooms will grow. Uh, so to make our mushrooms grow, we need to put down two micelle blocks on top of those two blocks and uh, we're going to place a 3x3 platform between these micelle blocks. Uh, if you like, you could use micelle for this platform, but I'm using dirt because I know that micelle will spread. Uh, we're going to cover this area uh, with glass just to make an outline and then on top of those two outer blocks, we'll just place some dirt. Now the glass outline at the back will have a glass block directly above each water source and a three long glass border to close it off. I'll give you guys a quick bird's eye view just to show you how the outline should look so far. We're now going to plant our mushrooms on the micelle and also add a glowstone block behind it. And this is done on both sides. And finally, we're going to add another layer of glass on top of the outline we previously made. Alright, just like that. Like the other farm I showed you earlier, signs were put on certain layers to guide the water through a specific path to break the mushrooms. Uh, so we'll add signs to the front part of this layer. I'll show you what I mean in just a sec. As you can see, there's signs on the front part of that one. So we'll add signs on this front. We'll put a message on this one. And HL Hockey 50. Alright, so this is what it should look like so far. Okay, so the second layer uh, is similar to the first, where we're going to extend our glass wall uh, one more level up. Also remember to put a dirt block on top of the glowstone. So in each of these gaps over here, we're just going to place a micelle block, and this is where we're going to plant our mushrooms. We're going to do this on both sides. And we're also going to add in our 3x3 dirt layer and the micelle is going to spread to this. Okay, so we'll just plant those mushrooms. And unlike the first layer where the signs were in the front, the second layer is going to have the signs in the back. And it's going to be like this the whole way. It's always going to be alternating with these sign patterns. Okay, so now we're going to need to make our outline border another level high. And to do this, we'll put a glowstone on top of the dirt block over here and uh, glass throughout the rest just like this. Okay, I'm now going to build another five layers, giving us a total of seven layers where mushrooms can grow. Remember to always be placing your signs in an alternating pattern. So for example, the third layer will have signs in the front and the fourth in the back and so on. Um, I'd like to tell you where I got this idea from. I originally saw this design done by Trigonal from the server of cadcon.de colon 31332.
All right, anyways, we're just about finished our seventh layer, and uh, now we'll build our last eighth layer, which is done just a little bit differently. So we'll come up to the top here. So we'll put our micell and dirt platform down the same way we regularly been doing it. So three by three. Uh, we'll also add in our glowstone and plant our mushrooms in the same way. But instead of uh, putting signs on the back area, we'll be putting dirt blocks. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So this back area would have been signs, but let's put dirt blocks instead. Okay, so above these dirt blocks, we'll uh, put three more blocks of dirt just on top. And uh, these blocks will be attached to the pistons that will allow water to pass. Now these glass blocks are where the water sources will be placed and uh, we have to make like a container structure. So I made mine something like this uh, and now we'll put down our uh, water sources on each of the glass blocks. So we should have this so far. Alright, we're now going to extend our glass border up another level so the water uh, stays inside this area. And then uh, we'll cover our water sources. Uh, this is going to be the beginning of the redstone wiring platform. So we'll just go ahead, put some dirt on top of these water sources, just like that. Uh, also in the other version, we have these sticky pistons pointing downwards. So um, this block is going to be where the arm is, and then this block is going to be the body of the piston. So we have to place it downwards from that block. So we'll place it just like this. We want to have three of them pointing downwards and then we can destroy these top dirt blocks. We don't need them anymore. And we should have this so far. Alright, we're now going to build the platform that will hold our redstone wiring and uh, we want to make this platform four by three blocks with an extra block at the end. So we'll go ahead and do that. So four by three and one extra block at the end right there. So as for the redstone wiring now, we're going to put a repeater right behind that piston and then just connect it with some redstone. And at the end on this block, we'll put down a redstone torch. And this is going to make our piston stretch out, just like that. Alright, so we want to have the current go from the top here all the way down to the ground level. So to do this, we're going to build an alternating redstone torch tower. Now, I built mine by lining up with the block that's holding the redstone torch, and I just build straight up two one by one block towers until I'm at the top. So we're gonna do just that, build straight up. Once we're at the top, uh, we're gonna delete the block that's directly under the block holding the redstone torch and just keep going with this pattern. I'll speed it up for you guys so you can see where it's going with this. All the way to the bottom. It's important to note, don't make your water run while you're still working on the farm, so delete that bottom torch. Now the water should be turned off so your micelle can grow. We have our current carried from the top of the farm to the bottom. Now we want to carry this current from the back of the farm to the front of the farm uh, to an activator switch. In this example, a pressure plate. So we're going to go down to the back of the farm and we'll dig kind of like a trench uh, adding torches to continue the current underground. So the first torch is going to be right here where we deleted it originally and then the second one over here. So very important for this, the tunnel bringing the current from the back to the front needs to be one level under the last redstone torch. So just like how I deleted that one block over there. Uh, just an example, we're going to carry this redstone just like that. So we're going to go all the way until we get to the front. If you can see on the top, there's water dripping down. And this is kind of like an indicator of when we should stop digging. So right over here, there's no more water. The pressure plate should be right there. So we'll add some redstone connecting. Okay, we can cover up that hole. And now the redstone should be attached to the pressure plate, allowing for the water to fall. Alright, but other than that guys, that's the mushroom farm in Minecraft. 
Um, you could of course build it as high as you want, you can go all the way up to the sky, but I felt that 8 was a perfect distance. Um, if you want, go ahead and build it up as high as you want. Let's give this a try. I'm going to step on that pressure plate, make sure that the water works. Good, it's coming down. We'll even do this one, see if we collected any mushrooms. Alright, water comes down, zigzag pattern. Oh, and we even did collect the mushroom. Awesome. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my Minecraft melon farm tutorial. The link should be on the screen right over here. But other than that, good luck mushroom farming.